Welcome to River Ridge Cider Company. Here we press fresh apples, many grown within just miles of our facility here in Michigan, into cider that makes its way across the U.S. into grocery stores near you. We like to say that we go from orchard to bottle. The control room provides a bird's eye view of the entire production process. From here, supervisors take orders as they come in, effectively manage blends during pressing, and make sure the production line is running smoothly. Quality attributes are carefully assessed in the lab, including bricks, color, pH, preservative, and patolin levels. Our technicians characterize the cider prior to bottling to ensure the product meets customer expectations. The first step in our apple cider production is adding fresh apples to the hopper from trucks or bins. The indoor hopper is used year-round, loading from apple bins, while the outdoor bulk hopper can provide for faster loading when weather allows to increase production. Maintaining a sanitary production environment is a high priority. At the inspection station, workers check for debris like leaves and stems or damaged apples before they head to the wash line. They are thoroughly washed with an industry standard sanitizing solution and water mixture to reduce bacterial contamination and spoilage. Apples are then fed into a grinder to be ground into a coarse pulp mash. After the grinder, the apple mash is pumped into a heat exchange system to either heat or cool the pulp for the optimal temperature. From here, the apple pulp is held in a holding tank until enough is collected for pressing. River Ridge has two fruit bladder presses. The presses use air pressure bags to inflate and squeeze out the juice from the apple pulp. Created in Germany as a press for grapes to create wine, Bladder presses give a gentle squeeze, so we just get the flavor of the apple rather than the non-appealing seeds and stems, making for a consistent flavor no matter what time of year we press. Rice holes are added to the press with a hopper as a pressing aid to help separate and remove every drop of juice. The juice is piped to the next holding tank to be run through a filtering screen for any remaining solids. A cooling system ensures the optimal temperature for the next set of holding tanks. These large holding tanks store the juice as needed and separate it for the different types of cider. This includes whether the distributor wants organic, preservative-free or preservatives added, and a variety of flavor options. With these options selected and the order ready to bottle, pasteurizing the cider is next. The juice is heated above 160 degrees improving the product's safety for consumption and increasing its shelf life. After pasteurizing, the juice is off to another holding tank, just before bottling. This tank features a finer filter to catch small particles that may have survived past the previous filtering stage. For preservative-free customers, Velcorin is added at this stage to increase shelf life. After four hours, this cold sterilizer leaves no trace as the components are gases, which are released when the bottle is opened. The cider is now ready to be bottled. Empty gallon and half gallon bottles are quickly removed from packaging sent to be filled with River Ridge cider. An inkjet printer sprays the best if used by date on the bottle. With 24 valves, the bottle filler can process 60 gallons a minute. The bottle capping machine quickly caps the bottles. A UV light sanitizes the cap before it is applied to the bottle. Labels are then applied. Depending on the brand, River Ridge or in-house, the variety, flavor, gallon, half gallon or pint, the machine efficiently and quickly applies the labels which are made by another West Michigan company just down the road. Workers use the packaging station to box up bottles readying them for shipment. Four gallons or nine half gallon bottles are packed into one case. Precise box labeling helps ensure correct delivery. In a given day, a number of different types of cider may be bottled heading across the country, so it is imperative their contents be labeled correctly. 
An automated palletizer generally adds 48 cases to a pallet and wraps it for easy bulk shipping. A pallet tag is added and the pallet is taken off by forklift to the storage cooler just before shipping. Priority is packed to order, but when a distributor needs a quick turnaround or a large order, this cooled storage pallet rack system with a computerized warehouse management system makes it possible to select inventory on hand. The forklift then moves the completed order to a waiting truck for delivery to distribution centers, where they are then sent to local grocery stores. Once in store, you can usually find the cider in the produce section. We hope you enjoyed your virtual visit to River Ridge Cider Company. Remember, when you pick up a bottle of River Ridge Cider at your local grocer, you're enjoying the taste of apples from hundreds of family orchards, some on their sixth and seventh generations. To learn more about our cider or our growers, please visit RiverRidgeCider.com or share your favorite cider moments on Instagram with hashtag MyCider.